look at all those Bitcoin up signal up signal up signal up signal up only Bitcoin with the Z score indicator which is right here using chat GPT that created this with the alert the green and the red I'm gonna show you how to implement this Z score indicator into the chart my name is Ip, also known as finance after 40 let's go everyone are super bearish this is also ethereum up only bitcoin up only what's going on with solana also up only even though everyone say it's going to zero at least for now on the one hour chart so what do we have we have trading view uh platform okay link in the description below this is an affiliate link you can do 30 days free trial but if you want to do all the indicators and all the time frame and adding uh, on top of indicators and all those charts it's like i don't know like 15 bucks a month or something like that uh check uh pro plus that's that's my level the second level okay so let's get started how to actually do this step by step the z score indicator so let's say i want to remove okay i'm gonna remove just to start fresh okay remove the indicator make sure i'm recording to not so we won't miss anything uh reset okay click here reset the chart uh, let's make this a little bigger it's fine reset the chart and now we start over how do you do that how do you do that you go here click first of all pine editor okay click pine editor and by the way i'm not a trading view guru i just started playing around with this in the last i don't know three weeks or so i would like to do back testing so in 2023 i wanna have like five six indicators confirmation indicator volume indicator another confirmation indicator maybe an exit indicator all that stuff that no nonsense forex talks about but i want to do back testing so if you know how to use the strategy tester uh there was a software that i used uh, like two three months ago for forex okay so I, I might need to sign up with them again it was pretty good forgot the name but it's i think trader edge something like that it was pretty good i'll check later uh, but if I want to do the back testing, so if you know how to do it, uh, let me know. Okay, click Pine Editor right here. Then click here on the Maximize Panel button. Open it up. And then uh, basically you have an uh, empty page, but you need to copy paste this uh, Z score indicator code. Okay, if you want to, you don't have to. Copy this uh, Z score indicator code. It will be in the description of this video in the comments. There's a comment section. I will have one. Uh, the first uh, message will be for me that will include uh, this code. Okay, it's a pinned message with this code. Copy paste, and then you will see this script calculates and plot Z score financial instrument plot red and green circle into the chart and uh, the default is uh, 100 i'm gonna change this and basically it tells us when it goes above free start right here up arrow above free standard we're gonna change this as well free standard deviation and down arrow when the z score is negative free standard deviation what does it mean it means that according to everything everything should trade at a certain level and if it goes away from the level like free standard deviation away from its level it needs to go back to its mean and eventually like everything else in life everything uh, goes back just takes time and you can just try not to get tracked in the mean in the meantime same as stocks and crypto and everything just look at the uh, 2020 pre uh pre everything that happened levels and where we are now uh, amazon apple uh, tesla uh, crypto everything is going back to where it was pre money printing basically so it was way way above its mean and now the uh, prices of everything are con going back to its mean just the, the, just like a rubber band okay so copy paste this uh, and then uh, you need to do one more thing that i forgot to do uh, click add to chart okay so you add to chart this z score indicator 
and it looks something like this this is not really nice not really friendly but that's how it looks what do you do what do you do now you click you double click okay so i'm on the one hour chart it seems to me to work uh it also works on the 15 minute chart according to someone that uh comment at the video that i did yesterday 15 minutes chart also works but of course you need more indicators and you need to back test to make it even better okay so double tap on the z score indicator that's the name i'm changing the length the length <laughs> to 168 that means that it's gonna check us uh the last 168 hours okay 168 hours is basically seven days that's good for the hourly and if you do the 15 minutes uh, chart that's good for the last day and a half give or take i'm gonna go to uh visibility i do nothing i'm gonna go to style okay and i'm gonna do first of all i'm gonna plot a zero line i'm gonna change this to the zero line so i know where to close my trade okay that for me is gonna be an exit indicator slash exit indicator that's fine and that's the zero line okay i'm gonna change the color let's say i want the color of the z score uh it doesn't really matter let's say that i don't want to get confused too much so i'm gonna make it yellow okay we're gonna pick uh yellow for the z score indicator change this to 100 percent change this to make it more powerful and there we go so now the shapes uh you got two options you got red and green red I'm gonna red, get a red signal uh, when we are at the top, okay? So when we are at the top, above free standard deviation, we're gonna get a red signal. Let's make the red signal uh, much more stronger. Uh, let's say this one, there we go. And you, of course you can change it as well. Let's see what we got, yeah. Can I change this? Uh, okay, so that's it and this i like to change you can play around arrow up arrow down for me i just put square because it's very uh boldy and i can see and when it's down this is very important i'm gonna change first of all the color uh when it's negative free standard deviation i'm gonna change the color here okay and i'm gonna change top to bottom okay and i'm gonna change the color to square so basically once it's negative free standard deviation i'm gonna get uh another uh alert to go long because free standard deviation from its mean is pretty pretty bad and it needs to eventually go back sure it can go down to 3.54 and i also saw yesterday 5.6 uh but two seconds later it went uh, back up to 4.2 and then back to free etc etc so when it reaches like five uh when it reaches like negative five or plus five this is like uh like all in trade not a financial advice you will lose all your money but i need to improve on this okay someone uh commented he made uh, an improve uh an improved script that you get like an alert at negative three but maybe we need to get a negative another alert at negative four another alert at negative five and same for the other and positive three four five with different colors so if it reaches three it starts to signal reaches four it like uh like green yellow red something like that if it's negative five just buy and uh, you will be hopefully good okay so we're not done with that and of course not a financial advice you can all lose everything especially with leverage because if you go long at negative three and it keeps going down against you while it goes to negative four or something you already got tracked and then even when it goes back up you're already out of trade so be, be very careful with that but if you do want to trade with leverage link to gmx 10 percent trading fees in the description below click ok and now it looks something like that we're not done we have another step so i'm just gonna grab a copy of here and i'm just gonna you see i grabbed and put it on the chart itself now as the bitcoin chart i'm gonna just change the the blue color uh let's uh, because it it's bitcoin just for the exit so i know what's going on no it's too much yellow and uh okay so let's say i know that this is uh this is the line okay it doesn't really matter okay so this is bitcoin we are on the one hour chart and you see here 
Uh, it gives us go long on the hourly when it reaches negative three. Look here, negative three. Uh, go long. Where was Bitcoin here? 16, 633. Uh, then it went up a little and then Bitcoin went down to 16, uh, 600, 5, 593. So maybe a little down. And then you got another alert. Uh, three point, negative 3.4 and then go up. And then Bitcoin went up again to 16,700. But I don't close the trade. I didn't take this trade. Uh, by the way, I took the one before that. It was a great success yesterday. Go watch the last video. I'm only closing trades when it's here. I'm only closing trades when it's here. Okay, I traded on the 15 minutes. I'm going to show you this in a second. And then it went down a little and you got another, another alert at 16,580. And Bitcoin even went down to 16,520. And if you see here, it was almost uh, negative 4, not yet, negative 3.9. So negative 4 is crazy, crazy down. Three alerts in a row in, on the one hour chart and then we trended back high, uh, higher to 16.630. Uh, okay, and there we go. Let's check uh, Ethereum. Same thing on the hourly. We got uh, the Z score uh, right here, 1190, 91, something like that. Uh, we got uh, Z score below 3, right here. It was 337. You got long. And Ethereum went up and then it went down uh, to 1185. So if you're not using like a 100x leverage, uh, you should still be okay. And then it went back up and you're in profit. 1201. That's a beautiful thing. I'm going to show you Bitcoin Ethereum uh, on the pair trading. Bitcoin Ethereum. Is there anything on the hourly? No. Except from this, this was a uh, Friday last week. Uh, short Bitcoin long eat uh, right here and uh, yeah you caught a nice actually a great trade so the pair trading I said it yesterday is for more conservative uh, traders as far as I know you don't rely on market or news or Sam or Solana whatever news that comes out that can dump the market uh, to oblivion uh, that's just basically going long or short on one and you go long or short on the other in the same uh, time simultaneously. I just want to check the 15 minutes real quick. Okay, uh, so let's check the 15 minutes. Same thing for the pair trading, uh, short Bitcoin, long ETH. This was uh, on the uh, yesterday in the morning, then it went up a little and then you caught a wonderful trade and you close it when there was zero line, which is uh, zero. Beautiful stuff. Uh, scalping, that's beautiful for scalping. Let's check Bitcoin. This is the trade that I took the 15 minutes uh, chart. It was all oh, crazy. Negative uh, 4.3. Okay. Negative 4.3. And it went all the way down to 5.7. Uh, and the price was 16.630. Went down to 16.580. And eventually uh, went and traded up. And you closed the trade at 16.700. Okay, so the 15 minutes could be even more volatile, but uh, it is what it is. You you pick your poison, as they say, when you trade this one. You see, uh, for Ethereum, 4.4 uh, negative standard deviation, and when the price was 11.91, again another alert at 11.91, and you just and then it start to move sideways and then up, and you close the trade right here at 11.99. That's a great uh, scalping if this is your thing hope this was valuable i'll see you guys next time all the all the links will be in the description below including the z score indicator code bye bye